Hello everybody and welcome to Celebration Saunas. My name is Katie DeChico and I'm here to talk to you today about um, our ultimate infrared sauna buying guide, what you absolutely must know. This article is really going to go over in depth about shipping, um, the importance of having your sauna palletized, making sure that it's standing on edge, making sure that it's delivered with the lift gate, and making sure you know the questions to ask each company that you're working with on how they ship their sauna, what happens if it arrives damaged or, or it has damage along the way, what happens if you open up the boxes and there's damage inside. Um, so these are all things that we're going to kind of cover in this, in this article. Um, one thing that I'm going to kind of cover in the video, um, one thing that infrared sauna, sauna companies don't really cover and don't tell you can cost you. So no matter who you work with, it is important that um, when you get your sauna, you don't simply sign the delivery receipt. You want to you want to make sure you inspect all of the packaging, um, notate any wear and tear on the sauna. If it looks like the edges are are banged up on the corners, then right banged up corners. If the wood on the pallet is broken at all, right, broken pallet. Um, if there's tears in the boxes, right, tears in the boxes. If there's giant holes in the boxes and you see wood damage, say refused. <laughs> um, don't accept anything from anybody that is damaged. Um, any sauna company that you work with should have enough inventory to replace your sauna. Uh, if they don't, I hope you don't have to wait very long for it. In our case, we keep an inventory of 4,000 saunas at any one time. We have saunas uh, shipments coming in on a weekly basis. We own the factory, so it makes it easier for us to make sure that's all streamlined and our customers are taken care of first. Um, but basically, that's really important. If damage occurs, um, if you find hidden damage, what is your sauna company going to do for you? At Celebration Saunas, we're going to replace everything. If you refuse to sauna because of damage, we're going to send one out um, to you within 24 hours and get it to you as quick as we can. Um, so the most important takeaway from all of that is to make sure when you sign your delivery receipt, you do notate um, all the details of your packaging and the condition it is in um, just to protect your investment. Um, let's see. Um, a good question also to ask um, to ask companies is what what is the size of your inventory? If a company is only you know keeping 400 saunas in inventory and you happen to get the last one of that model, how are they going to replace your sauna? How long is it going to take to get replacement parts? Are they going to encourage you to accept something that's damaged? These are all kind of things that we've seen throughout the industry that we just want to make you aware of. Um, I think we've kind of gone over um, our pricing or I mean our policies about um, damage and, and what to do and how we replace everything and empower you to refuse anything um, that is clearly damaged. Um, we keep an inventory of 4,000 saunas at any one time. It's the largest inventory in the in the United States. Um, the next question is, why is there such a wide price range? Um, price comes down to a number of things, but buying power. He who buys the most saunas gets the best prices. And, um, you know, through a streamlined business plan, by being able, by owning the factories, having end-to-end -end control over the, um, over the manufacturing and making sure that mistakes aren't happening that actually end up costing more in the long run. Um, we've updated all of our Chinese fa factories to American standards. We've cleaned up the floors. We make sure that the wood is housed properly. We kiln dry all of our own wood and cher cherry pick the very best wood of the grade A Canadian hemlock and cedar that we purchase um, to build your saunas and to really make um, truly beautiful saunas. Um, you know, the range in pricing is going to come down to how they're constructing your sauna. Um, if they're using broken pieces that are stapled together to create the framing of your walls, which we've seen and you'll see in pictures of some of our other blog posts, um, where you'll see sticks. They're just sticks and they try to make them into a wood frame and um, anyways, that's what's supporting your sauna. Um, they're using Chinese hemlock instead of Canadian hemlock. So there's a number of different um, shortcuts at the manufacturing level that 
people who don't have the control where it's owned by a Chinese manufacturer rather than an American company. Um, those are kind of the problems that we see. In our case, we were able to cherry pick all of the wood and we're, we use only the best wood and as a result, we're able to make the best product at the lowest prices. And we really, we really um, pass that on to our customers. You know, we're not looking to retire and go to Hawaii on any one sauna. You know, our primary focus is to get make this technology affordable and available to the pe people who need it most. Um, it is astounding the health benefits for people who have lupus or fibromyalgia or chronic back pain or arthritis. Um, cardiovascular disease, the the effects are just astounding. And so to make that affordable and available to really be able to help people, um, you know, this isn't just a luxury item for us. This is durable medical equipment. So anyways, um, that would be the difference. Um, I kind of got off track, but that's the significant difference between um, a high price sauna versus a low price sauna. You know, an inefficient business plan, um, an inefficient business plan, you know, 60 employees versus 20 employees for our 12,000 saunas a year. Um, not owning the factories, not having the buying power of the factory behind you, not um, having the volume um, to really get the buying power that you need to drive down the prices of the saunas. Um, those are a lot of reasons those are a lot of reasons that would affect price. So we're kind of right in the middle because we're giving you a, a great product at the best possible price. We're not, that that's just what we do. We need to make it available to you, um, especially those who, who need it really the most. Anyway, um, what kind of heaters are best? By far, without a doubt, I don't care what sauna company you're looking at, you have to get carbon. You have to get carbon heaters because they're safer. The ceramic heaters in the past, they're what we had for 30 years, but um, they're dangerous. They, As the ceramic heats up and cools down, it develops cherry um, red charcoals um, from the fine lines and cracks that can occur. And as a result, I've seen them scorch backrests. There are, you know, they create black marks on backrests. And so there, there can be a lot of problems with those. They break down every two years, um, two to five years. You really want a good quality carbon heater. Something like with us, they last, our heaters last 20,000 hours or an hour a day for 50 years. Um, the carbon heaters kind of have, they have two temperature sensors that you can't have with, uh, with the ceramic heaters to prevent any overheating. Um, they're, they operate at much cooler temperatures. We're not getting surface temperatures of 400 degrees. We have a maximum surface temperature of like 160 degrees, I believe. Um, and that's at the heater, um, which you can see you don't really sit against. Um, let's see. But definitely um, when, when you're kind of choosing between heaters, you want to ask companies, you know, what is the micron bandwidth of your of your far infrared sauna heaters. Um, 5 to 15 microns, that's the old um, carbon technology. That's the first um, technology that they came into the industry with. Uh, carbon, um, the 5 to 15 microns, it emits equal parts. So 5 microns is equal, um, it's emitting just as many 5 microns of infrared light as it is 15 um, microns of infrared light and everything in between. Um, the better heaters have been narrowed to at least 7 to 14 microns. Um, some of the technology with the other companies has gotten better with um, with those. They have narrowed the bandwidth to 7 to 14 microns because you really want it at that 9.4 microns. Um, but again, it's at that equal part, 7 to 14 microns, emitting 7 microns to 14 microns in equal parts all across the that part of the spectrum. So with the new biophoton heaters, which is what we manufacture and what um, we have developed, 87% um, of the time, the far infrared light is produced at exactly 9.4 microns. Um, your body produces far infrared light at 9.4 microns exactly. 
uh, in the form of body heat. So what we've done is we've narrowed the bandwidth of our heaters to mimic the human body's output of far infrared light or manufactured body heat. And we're charging your body with its own energy. And that's where we're really seeing um, significant changes in your health is because when every cell has all the energy that it needs to eliminate waste at the cellular level, then it has all the energy that it needs to um, bring the body to a level of homeostasis. As we excrete that waste, uh, inflammation kind of goes away and um, the body is able to function uh, properly the way that it's supposed to without being um, burdened by toxins and viruses and bacteria and all kinds of other fun stuff um, that we house in our bodies. So you really want to get a heater that is tuned to the human to the frequency of the human body at 9.4 microns. What kind of wood is the best in, in sonic instruction? By far, without a doubt, hands down, hemlock wood is the best wood to use in, in far infrared sonic instruction. Um, we recommend it for all of our clients. We use it in our medical grade saunas. Um, a number of reasons. Um, it is hypoallergenic. It has a higher crushing strength than uh, cedar. It gets harder with time, which means that it becomes more and more durable as it ages. Um, and for those reasons, it's hypoallergenic properties, if I didn't say that already. Um, those are the reasons that we use hemlock wood. Now, we also use um, cedar wood that we have um, available, but really we only offer that out of tradition. And I do try to warn customers, you know, in a properly constructed far infrared sauna, the cedar shouldn't have a cedar chest or a cedar closet a fragrance um, that you would associate with cedar because those things outgas cedrine and terpenol, um, both of which can be sensitizing to the human body um, and cause an allergic reaction over time. And in an infrared sauna, because our primary focus is detoxification, we really want to make sure that we're not introducing new toxins into the environment. So we want to breathe those things in. So in a far infrared sauna, it's not going to have that cedar smell. It is aesthetically beautiful. It Cedar makes a beautiful, beautiful sauna, but if you're looking for that cedar fragrance, you don't want that in your far infrared sauna. So those are the two words that we use, and those are the reasons that we use them. Um, hemlock, what's great about hemlock, I really like hemlock because it is hypoallergenic, because it is very strong, because it does get harder over time, um, because it's used in building all of America. <laughs> um, it is the most prevalent wood in North America, and it's got a good solid core. It has great fibers so that we're not shearing um, the wood and splintering the wood at all. So there, it doesn't tear up our tools so much, so it makes it inexpensive to work with as well. So there's a number of reasons for hem that we use hemlock wood. It's really the best application um, for infrared sauna use. So um, the main thing that when you're purchasing a new infrared sauna is you want to make sure that your sauna wood has been kiln dried. Um, it's really hard to know conditions of how the wood is stored, like if it's being stored outside in the of the Chinese warehouse or it can be rained on. I mean, we certainly don't want toxins and stuff like that. Um, you'll see pictures of our um, of our manufacturing facilities and how the wood is is housed and how it's kiln dried and um, what the floors look like because that really is important in um, getting quality products. Um, but you do want to know how long the wood has been cured. Um, if it has been kiln dried for four days, then we know that um, that's enough time to burn away resins and oils that can outgas during the sauna, um, during any sauna session. So my camera seems to be turning a little bit here. It's like just wandering. Okay, there we go. Uh, next thing, assembly systems. There's th three major types of assembly systems. One is a bolt, or, bolt and anchor type. The other one is a magnet um, assembly. And then we have interlocking. Then there's interlocking um, wall assemblies, and then there's buckle assemblies. Um, at Celebration Saunas, we use a combination of the, um, the inner wall interlocking male-female steel guides um, to put the sauna together so it doesn't have so you don't need any tools to put it together and it you don't have to be a carpenter to get the sauna walls straight or anything like that they just snap into place and you're good to go we use the buckles to secure the entire unit in place um, so that is just the easiest assembly without any any tools required um, the next thing um, the magnetic assemblies um, 
we don't use these for a reason. The reason I don't use the magnets, and if you look at companies who are using magnets, they will there's a disclaimer somewhere on their website that says these powerful magnets can interfere with things like a pacemaker. Well, if you're going to be using a sauna to um, improve cardiac health, or a lot of us have arrhythmias, I mean, that means that we're going to need like a pacer when we're 70. Well, I don't want to turn 70 and not be able to use my sauna anymore. <laughs> um, and, and if it's going to help my cardi uh, cardiovascular health, I mean, I don't want to pose a danger to any of my friends or, or family or anybody who could come over who is going to use the sauna to get health benefits as well. So we don't use anything that could impede the, the use of medical devices in our saunas. Um, so we don't recommend the magnetic assembly. Um, the, to be fair though, all of these assembly systems will hold your sauna together. So these are just kind of the positives and the negatives of each kind and why we use, you know, the interlocking system that we do. Um, I've seen bolt and anchor assembly systems. What's, I don't like these systems because if for whatever reason the um, anchor is not aligned into the wall properly, the screws won't go all the way in. That's frustrating. Um, if you, um, usually there's, you know, eight screws on each side of the sauna. And as you put the walls on and you have to steady them, um, you have to make sure that you put the same pressure on each screw all the way around the sauna in order to make sure that you don't have stain lines on the interior of the sauna and raw wood lines on the exterior of the sauna. So it may only take 30 minutes to put the sauna together, but how long are you going to have to circle the sauna in order to get it straight? <laughs> and that was always my frustration with those kinds of things. Um, using that kind of assembly system, I can't tell you how many times walking around that sauna and screwing each one of those screws in that I nicked the nick the sauna my brand new sauna or my customer's brand new sauna <laughs> has got a little scratch on it now um so that's no fun either so that's why we have gone with the um the in interior wall um male female guide lo locking systems and then of course the buckle is assembly to kind of lock everything into place and make sure you have a perfect alignment every time so it's easy it's just easy we make it easy warranty what's the warranty on your sauna this is an important question can the company that you're working with stand behind their product in our case we give you a full lifetime warranty um, we are partnered with the manufacturing company which is what and due to that special relationship we're the only company who can offer a full lifetime warranty um, on all of our saunas. That means we pay for parts and shipping for as long as you own the sauna. That means I'm paying for your power supply boxes, your light bulbs, your thermostat, the control panels, the heaters. And as I look around, I don't see anything else <laughs> that we have to really replace on these. Um, but we will do it for as long as you own the sauna. Um, we expect your sauna to last a minimum of 20 years. So in many cases, your, your, uh, your kids may inherit your sauna before, before you need a new one. So anyhow, uh, that's kind of uh, the rundown of, of what everyone else isn't going to tell you, um, of what to kind of look out for. Um, but if there's any questions that I failed to answer or that there is something questionable that you're just not sure you see one, some information on one site and then you go to another site and it's completely the opposite information, give me a call. My name is Katie. My phone number is 855-728-6248. I would love to speak with you. I'm happy to clarify any misinformation um, or conflicting information that you've found online. Um, and really what we try to do is, is just educate you so you can make the right choice for you. We try to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly up front so you know exactly what to expect. And we try to make this this purchase um, easier. So thank you all again for watching. Um, have a wonderful day and we look forward to hearing from you.